What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Chasing Rob. So today I'm going to do a couple of unboxings. I have a unboxing an item from Funko Shop that I've been waiting for that came in yesterday, which <coughs> Oops. which is kind of odd to me because it, it wasn't shipped in its normal Funko box. So let's go check it out. Let me see. And then the other two items are actually a package I got from the homie Hunting the Valley. He was able to go to WonderCon this year and he picked up a couple of mystery boxes for, for me from Chrono Toys. So let's see what we get in those two. All right. Definitely not packaged as well as Funko normally does. But the box is, is mint. Here it is right here. The Flock Jeffrey. Yep, focus it up there. So pa the back of the package is is different than the original because the original had the the sweepstakes or the contest info on the back but for the golden ticket I'm kicking myself in the ass because I sold that uh, Jeffrey for I think it was like 10 bucks so under what I paid for I think because I can't remember what retail was for that one if it was 10 or 15 but yeah kicking myself in the ass for doing that but Unfortunately, it's done, so I'm not going to try and get them back, especially for 100 bucks for what it's going for now. So I'm going to be okay with just this, this, this flock, Jeffrey. So let's get to the package from the homie hunting the valley. He had to send them out in two different packages because he couldn't fit them in to one single box. Um, I believe the chances with these mystery boxes was you could get a chase, I think, a vaulted pop, or an exclusive. Uh, one of the the ones that people were really aiming at trying to get were the metallic Thanos, Iron Man, and Spider Man, the ones that were exclusive to Australia. So that was. One of the things you could possibly get. So let me uh, take out each box first. I did trade for one of these boxes. I picked them up. He, he's on the on the search for two of the Marvel Legends Infinity War figs. Uh, he's looking for Iron Spider Man and. Captain America so I was able to find him Captain America so instead of paying him for this I traded him for one and then the other one I paid for so here's a look at the box right here Chrono Toys mystery box check out their website chronotoys.com I've ordered them from them before so pretty legit let's show it to you guys first There we go. What we got? Oh. Oh, shoot. Yo. I don't watch Game of Thrones, but eventually I will. Just looking at the box real quick. I'm waiting for the the whole entire series to end in order to start watching it. Uh, this one, the box is pretty mint, but it's got some, I don't know if something was sitting on it because it's got these little in indentations. I don't know if you can catch that on camera. Let me see if I can get a good angle on it. It's where you can catch it. Yeah, like right there, you see those? All the way across and then there's some on the top too. So, but first one I got which is dope I'm gonna have to keep this one 
glow in the dark night king that is dope that is dope all right next box let's go check it out let's go see what i got What is it? Oh, looks like another pop that I'm going to want to keep because I know for sure I don't have it. I think it's, yep. This one I've been planning to get. I had an opportunity to get it when I went to uh, LA Comic Con, but I passed up on it. But now I got it here. This box is mint as hell. Small little crease actually on the bottom, but that's no biggie. And he looks like he's popping out of the box but I'll fix that anyways so I got the 2016 comic convention co exclusive or well, convention exclusive Voltron metallic Voltron so there's that so look at the back of the box side of the box pretty dope I was hoping for one of the Avengers but it's all good I'm actually happy with these two. Not too bad. Not sure exactly what they are on PPG. Let me go check it out. See, see if I got my money's worth value wise. Let me go grab my phone really quick. All right. So let's go check out how much it is value wise. Let's see if I got my money's worth. Let's go check out Popspedia. Or Stashpedia, I guess it's called now. I'll compare it to Popspedia and PPGs. It looks like I might have to update this one. Well, while that is updating, let's go check out PPG. So each mystery box costs uh, 25 bucks. So, all right. So according to PPG. The Metallic Voltron is 16, so kind of lost out on that. And the Night King. Is 26, so pretty much got the value for that. So not too, not too bad. I mean, still pretty dope pops. Two pops. Well, this one I would never think I would get. So, I actually kind of like this one better than last year's Comic Con one. Gonna have to check out the glow on this. And Voltron, you know what? 16 bucks or not, it's still, I think, from what I remember when I saw it at LA Comic Con, they were selling it for, I think, 22 or 25 bucks at the the shop that I saw it at so still pretty happy with that anyways plus it will go well with my my vintage Voltron so dope so there's that that's today's mail call here it is right here so that's gonna end today's video thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next chase